Hello, this is Mr. Buffington from Simplify Academy, and this is a, one of the lessons from our course, Filling the Gaps, Grade 6, um, that you can find on Simplify Academy. So let's take a look at this lesson on proportions. What to expect is that we will talk about what proportions are. We will use cross multiplying to find out if ratios are proportional, and we'll set them up and practice. So let's go ahead and first off discuss what is a proportion and where maybe have you seen them before. So I'm going to show you an example of a proportion. I want you to let me know where you've seen it before. Of course, you can't really let me know. This is a YouTube video. But if you look at that and you say, hey, this is a proportion, maybe you recognize that you've seen them before. These are equivalent fractions or equivalent ratios. That's it, right? That's all a proportion is. So when we are trying to calculate if they're proportional, you do it the same way you're calculating if fractions are equivalent or if ratios are equivalent. And the way we are going to use is cross multiplying. So if we're given a set of fractions and we're asked to find if they're equivalent, you can just multiply the numbers that are across from each other and you'll calculate if they are proportional. So in this case, we did two times 18. They were the diagonal numbers there that gave us 36. 3 times 12 is 36. Because I got the same product on both sides, they are equivalent. Let's look at another example here where I have 3 sixths is equal to 8 over 12 or 8 twelfths. When I multiply 6 times 8 and 3 times 12, look what I get. 3 times 12 is 36. 6 times 8 is 48. These are not equal. 36 is not equal to 48. The products are not equal, so therefore they are not proportional, or this is not a proportion, okay? That's two ways that we could say them. It's not a proportion or it's not proportional. What we're going to do now is to do this one type of practice that helps us really solidify this idea and show that you completely understand it, and that is to make your own proportion. I want you to pause and practice like we do inside the course quite often. Make a proportion using the following four numbers, four, one, two, and two. There are a couple different proportions you could make, so go ahead and create one and then come back to the recording. Hey, welcome back. I hope you were able to find a proportion and um, create one, and to go the extra mile, you can check if it was proportional by using cross multiplying. That's what I'm gonna do in my example. So the, num the order that I put the numbers was one to two is equal to two to four. I recognize that one to two is one half and two to four is two is half of four. So I recognize that I thought those ones were proportional. However, I wanna double check, so I'm going to use my cross multiplying. Four times one is four and two times two is four. So I get the same product on both sides they are proportional. And this is an activity. There are a couple questions like this on the worksheet. Now let's look at one question from the worksheet to ask if two fractions are equivalent or if the ratios are proportional. With this type of question, I like to rewrite it because I like seeing the fractions a little bit more vertically. So I'll write two over 10 here or two tenths and three over 15. And my question is, are they equal? or are they equivalent, right? I don't know yet. So I'm going to do some multiplying. 10 times three, and that gives me 30. And then I've got 15 times two, and that gives me 30. Because my products, 30 and 30, are equivalent or equal to each other, therefore these ratios are proportional. So I could say, yeah, they are proportional. All right, let's take a look at what we've gone over today. We talked about proportions being equivalent ratios. We looked at cross multiplying to find proportions. And I wanna remind you, in previous lessons, I've told you cross multiplying would be used in your future. It's one of the tools we use all the time with ratios and proportions. So you need to become familiar with that cross multiplying. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.